Hey, 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 coming at ya from Joshua Tree. I'm in my husband's dressing gown. It's snow today. It's bloody gorgeous, actually, being in front of a beautiful hot fire and soaking up the magic of the desert. I'm very excited to dive into this much needed conversation. Oh my goodness, there are so many of you right now that are in a holding pattern, stuck in the belief that there's just nothing out there that can help you when it comes to love, right? And I wanna see your comments You to be part of this conversation. I know the lighting's not great. We're away in Joshua Tree for those of you joining. Um, you know what, we were just eating dinner and I was like, oh my God, is it Thursday? <laughs> I was lucky I saw the notification. <laughs> Nam and I were in a deep conversation. About Meghan Markle. About Meghan Markle, yes. Um, so, oh, okay, Dallin, he's putting on his torch. Okay, that's, yeah, that, that wouldn't be highlighting things about me right now. We can just, we can just go as we are. Anyway, so, yes, Karina, I'm very cozy. So this is a really, really important conversation for those of you that are showing up in your life in a very, what's the word I want to say? Um, very, very deflated. Like you've truly given up that love exists for you. You, you don't believe that there's actually any program or anyone that can get you out of the stuck hopeless energy that you're in i've been seeing this in in so many and when i say beautiful i mean amazing women sorry darling okay he's setting up some i love it thanks oh, sweetie no, no no stop leave it leave it leave it oh look at that leave it um come join um they're, they're, the whole energy is just basically like i didn't even bother watching testimonials because i truly don't believe that this can work for me i really don't believe anything yes. can work for me and i said right well we're not going to continue the call and I'm curious how that's been working out for you because there's no fight in you, okay? Now, there's many of my clients watching this, so they're not, they're not in that space, but they were in that space and they can relate to that space. We can all relate to that space. Um, I've been in that space thinking, you know what? Maybe I'm just not meant to have love. Maybe this is just my path. And you sell out. And what I maybe want to maybe I'm a lost cause. That's a very common one. Yeah, maybe I'm and a lost actually, cause. That's passed down from your family too. That story of, oh, you know, uh, my my daughter's just or my son is just different. You know, she they, I just don't get them. They're different, and they're just a lost cause. They they don't they don't just follow the proper you know process that everyone else is doing. Yeah. And, and this stuff gets really put in early in your life. So. And you hear it over and over again, right? Where. I know my mum thought that about me. She was just like, oh my God, like practically wanting to get the postman to, to, to marry me. Cause she was just like, why is Lucy not just, you know, settling? Why is she not just happy with, you know, jo you. Joe Blow? And yeah. I was just like, cause I'm not. Joe Blow. And so basically what I want to show you is that this deflated energy, giving up, nothing's going to work for me. So what's the point is, it's a choice and it's showing up with the men that you've been attracting in that are emotionally unavailable, don't prioritize you, cheat on you, um, it starts off well, but then suddenly it's just like, it just fizzles, right? So then what happens is, is you're like, no matter what I do, I'm always left behind. Mm -hmm. I'm always the one that the guy, you know, yeah. like I said, leaves me, cheats on me, just doesn't want to be with me. And then it's painful when you see he goes on, suddenly he's committing to the next person. So then that reaffirms your story that shit, love isn't safe. Um, no matter what I do, love doesn't work for me. And you've got this really solid, tight story about how much love doesn't work for you. A yeah. program won't work for you. It's exactly the same energy that you're bringing to programs or a mentor helping you as it is to when you go out there in the world and you're attracting in the low vibe guys, right? Like the bottom feeders. And it's, and it's because you, darling woman, are settling within your own self, not stepping into your grateful, greatness, your gratefuls, not stepping into your greatness yet, yeah, not sitting in gratitude. That was a faux pas that meant to come through, uh, not connecting with how fucking sublime you are so you're the one leaving yourself out in the cold and sort of sitting there in your victimhood making everyone else wrong 
And it's this energy, and it's not like you're, you're trying to do that. It's just it's the little girl inside of you that's so hurt. She feels so disappointed, so fucking angry, right? No matter what I do, nothing works. But the truth is, any program that you've already done or therapist that you've already done, I know if you dig deep, you'll say, I didn't bring in my full self. Well, I didn't want to look at the full truth. The amount of women that will say that to me, if I'm honest. Um, ooh, I have some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm honest, um, I didn't want to face all that stuff. Yeah. And it's the women that will come to me that will have that epiphany and say, you know what? I didn't bring myself in. Instead of just being so quick to blame the programs or blame men, they're like, you know what? I didn't show up. I didn't follow through. I wasn't actually coachable. And so I'll have to question them and my team will have to question them to say, okay, great. So why is that different now? Because we only work with coachable women. We only work with women that have some fight left in them. Even if they're at the bottom of the barrel, feeling so fucking shit, feeling all of the things, angry, hopeless, unlovable, in total disbelief, there's a spark inside of them that says, you know what? This might just fucking work. That's my clients, right? It's not to do with the money. It's not to do with any of it. So I really want to invite you, and I haven't forgot you, Della, with what you want to share. I really want to invite you to take this deep into yourselves to say, you know, when you connect with a mentor, when you connect with someone that's actually really speaking to your soul, trust that. Because your head and your protection and your bodyguards and your little girl, they're so aligned with the story that nothing works. You've got to stop listening to them and hang, go, hang on a minute. Let me turn that spark up because the spark's gone out inside of your heart. Your heart is the most powerful organ that you have access to. But the more that you haven't been listening to it, it's been shutting down. Literally, wall upon wall upon wall upon wall. So I really want you to hear that there's nothing wrong with you. You are not damaged goods. You are not hopeless. You are not unlovable. Your belief system sucks and needs a major upheaval and up level. <laughs> That's for sure. Because for as long as you're in the disbelief that anything can ever help you, you're going to keep proving yourself right. Can you see that? That you're the one uh, that's completely in your own way and that there's actually no shortage of soulmates and that you can absolutely change your life. I've just been listening to testimonials all week. I've been getting DMs. Two, two clients who lost their father recently said, I don't know how I would have navigated through this without the tools of soul to soul. Another gorgeous girl messaged me, Lucy, I'm, I'm five months in with this, the love of my life, you know, and she was divorced um, from an Indian background where there's so much stigma. She's got a child and she's sitting there loved up looking like a teenager. I could go on and on and on. Said another girl who graduated soul to soul today and she literally, she said, I just don't have the words and I just didn't know life could be this good. Like I, and she just didn't say much. Like she just literally sat there and she was just like, I'm mind blown. And this was a girl that was fucking numb, so shut down, unbelievably disconnected to her greatness and to the belief that she could ever have love. And the reason I'm sharing all of these stories, this is just a, a few, is that if these women can grab their life with both hands and massively turn things around, then you can too, beautiful one. There's absolutely no reason that you can't. And COVID is the best opportunity to do this deep work because, you know, meditation isn't going to cut it. Listening to a few podcasts isn't going to cut it. Reading a book isn't going to cut it. My book's fucking powerful. But if you really want to change your life, you need to get sisterhood. You need to get accountability and you need to be taken through a proven process so that you can be brought home to the amazing woman that you're born to be. And that's what you want is a mentor that's actually going to hold the vision of your greatness, not focus on what's wrong with you. And there was just one other thing I wanted to say before I'm gonna get an arm to speak to you. Um, no. Yes, that's what I was gonna say. We're talking about 30 plus years of conditioning. Right? So if you're wanting to shift, this is conditioning that goes back to when you were a three-year-old. It's not a walk in the park. It's not about just picking up one PDF document you download free for, you know, or $27 on, Inst on Instagram or Facebook that's like, hey, this is how you change your life. Like, no, it's going to take courage. It's going to take guts. It's going to take you going, you know what? I'm willing to do whatever it takes. And you will transcend 
what is actually possible. You will, you'll actually, like so many of my clients, you will literally blow your mind that life can be this fucking good. And it's not about the guy. I want you to tattoo that on your vagina. It is not about the fucking guy or the girl, right? Whatever floats your boat. It's about you getting a soulmate relationship with you because you are who you've been looking for your entire life and you've lost the belief that you can have it. You've lost the belief in yourself and you've lost your connection with the divine. And when you start putting your focus into what is possible instead of giving up and saying, well, what's the point? You're going to get a different life. It's inside of you right now, sister, but it's going to require a decision for you to get out of this bullshit story that nothing can help you get out of your victimhood get out of your woe is me and playing the world's smallest violin right and waking up to what you're actually here on this planet to do because love is the fucking highest currency that we have without love like what are we here for why would you rip yourself off from that and talk yourself out of that and go oh well maybe i'm just meant to be a godmother maybe i'm not meant to be married don't fucking talk yourself out of your dream you have a dream it's time to get it off the back burner and to put it as your priority because you are the only one that can fight for yourself. And you've got to value yourself enough to say, I'm going to do whatever it fucking takes. You've got to get done with your excuses and your stories and your blaming energy. I used to blame. I used to do all of the meditations, kinesiology. I'd be in, out of one healer's room into the next, you know, doing all the affirmations. It's like nothing works. <laughs> having a tantrum oh, I'm over it I'm over it it's the men in Sydney right blame 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 but what I wasn't doing was doing the deep stuff I wasn't investing at a level that had fucking skin in the game I was skirting around it and doing the bare minimum and that's why my life wasn't changing and it was really fucking frustrating like I feel you um but I want to also say to you you're not doing whatever it takes that's why you're not changing darling come and add your Five cents, because I'm, I'm done. That's my message to you. I'm speaking to your beautiful heart and soul because who you are is soulmate material. You're extraordinary. There's nothing wrong with you because you're not your past hurts and disappointments, right? You're the one that men will choose when you choose you first, when you learn how to prioritize you first. And I don't want you going away from this Q&A going, okay, well, if I've been vibrating with like, you know, shit, I'm just going to go and vibrate with, okay, um, I'm going to attract in my soulmate now. It's not that simple. It's actually about getting support. Powerful women get support. It's about getting healed. Yeah, it's about healing yourself, but getting the support to do that. Little girls run away. Powerful women know how powerful it is to get support and they relish in that and they celebrate that and they're proud of that. Little girls will go, why do I have to get support? I shouldn't have why to pay me? for it. Why me? Why? My friend didn't have to do that when she got met her guy. Guess what? Do you want their relationship? Well, you can't. You're two different people. No, no. But at the end of the day, often the relationships you're looking at, I don't want the relationships my friends had when I was growing up. I didn't want those. I wanted something really, really sacred and next level. And I knew I was not in alignment with who I really was. And when I woke up to that, I was like, I, no wonder my vision boards weren't doing anything, right? Because nothing was changing internally. And there I am with this pretty vision board, yet I wasn't changing a fucking thing about how I was actually taking care of myself. Darling, come back. You're like a wild horse. <laughs> he said, you keep talking. Yes, that is definitely true. All so, right. So Handing to, it over to my husband. Just to add to this, to this, the, the worst story that you could tell yourself is that you're, you're broken. There's something wrong with me. <clears throat> This is like being in the horse. Can you hear races. the fire in the background? Um, uh, because that story that you're broken and there's something wrong with you and no one can help you is you're basically your death. And what mm. has to happen is you have to Powerful. pivot. There's a reason why therapy hasn't worked. There's a reason why all these courses don't work. It's not because, not only because you're not showing up fully, it's because your story is so in the martyrdom and, and the victimhood that that's the only story you're bringing forward. You can't heal a wound one band-aid at a time, right? And this wound is deep. It's not, it's not, it's not just on the skin. It's not, a, it's not a scratch. It goes right to the bone. It goes to the bone. It goes to your heart. That's how bad it is. It's like a wound to your heart. 
So, you know, you, you have to um, pivot from that story to going, well, nothing worked for me, be not because, not only because I didn't show up fully, I also don't know who the fuck I am because I've forgotten. I've forgotten my power. I don't even know how to go find my power. So when Lucy says, you're the soulmate, you have to find you. The reason we say that is because in this world, it's, it's an energetic world. We attract what we are vibrating with. We attract who we are. We attract who we are. So you can be, what that means is what's your deep inner vibration. And often for most of us, the deep inner vibration is the hurt and the pain and the victimhood and the, you know, woe is me. And it's the little girl and the, for the men, it's the little boys. So that's why no program will work for you. And no therapy will only get you so far. Because first of all, you have to f remember who the fuck you are, how powerful you are, how... And that's a whole alignment type of process. That's why a book doesn't get you there. That's why watching YouTube doesn't get you there. And therapy, I'm just going to add to that because we work with therapists and psychologists for a reason because they are so cerebral. They literally, the fact that we're working with therapists and psychologists for their own growth, <laughs> they are some of the most tough but awesome clients I've ever worked with. They're, they're amazing. They've gone on to find true love and they're having epiphany after epiphany of how they can deepen within their own line of work because the heart has been left out of it. So I don't want you to feel bad. You know, I want you to celebrate where you've already been trying, what, you know, what you've already committed to as far as programs or therapists or psychologists or whatever it is. I, I don't want you to feel, I want you to go, yes, I have been trying and to to realize that it just hasn't been the right work. It hasn't been going deep enough. The amount of women, I'm playing with my brush, that have gone through soul to soul, like it's it's like 90, 90 to 95% that have done years of therapy, right? I'm talking like 10 years, a lot of a lot of our women, not a prerequisite, but very common. And within days, the first week, they're just like, oh my God, this is going deeper than anything I've done in 10 years. I was like, well, yeah, because it's about intensity. It's about a process. It's about momentum. It's about doing it in, with collective energy with other women that want to change. And you can't get anything more powerful than the collective. When you come together with people, can you go check her, please? She's too close to the sheets. Um, with people that also want to change, she it's knows. like rocket fuel. <clears throat> yeah, just go check on her. She's, she's, fine. she's fine. So that's what I want you to really go, oh, okay. So it's not that there's anything wrong with you. It's not that you're not coachable. It's not that you haven't been trying, but you've also got to question, okay, is what I'm doing strong enough, right? You don't keep employing the same cleaner if every time they leave your house, you can't find anything or you're just like, I could do a better job myself. No, you're like, get rid of that cleaner. Let me get the best of the best so that when I come home, it's like I am on holiday, right? That's someone you want to pay. I've had, I've had that cleaner. Oh my God, I want that cleaner right now, especially during quarantine, but I had a cleaner in New York and I would have paid her whatever the bloody hell she wanted because it was a gift. It was a godsend. The change every time she came was palpable. And then when she had to leave um, and move on, we got someone else. And I said to an arm, um, I could it's do this myself. Same. It's yeah. not the same. So it's exactly what I want you to do right now is to take get some grunt back and go, well, well is what I'm doing strong enough? And the, the easiest answer is, have you got what you want yet in your life? And if you haven't, stop belittling yourself and, and focusing on the fact that you've been single for five years or six years or 10 years or two years. Stop focusing on that you've been cheated on. Stop focusing on the fact that love hasn't worked for you up until now because the past is gone. What I want you to do is to realize that you have this moment to make a decision and to make a change right now that will impact the rest of your life so that your next 30, 40 years will look completely different to the first 30. Yeah. But it is going to mm. take something. I wouldn't be in the life that I'm in right now with this divine love of my life, divine daughter, living my dream life. There's just no way I would be here where the better it gets, the better it gets. Had I not gotten fucking real with myself to realize I was dabbling. I was dabbling and blaming. Can you see that? I was doing the things I really thought I was doing everything. I kid you not. I would be the one at a dinner party, like asking people, you know, 
what they want to do with their life. And I was the ones, you know, thinking that I was honestly doing it all. And I look back now at that version of myself and I just want to hug her because it was just a lot of noise and busyness without moving below the heart space, right? It was all like here to hear the work. Can you relate to that? Totally top line, totally cerebral. And that suited me at the time because my heart was off limits and I didn't even realize it. And I was just happy blaming my circumstance, happy blaming Sydney, happy blaming the guys, happy blaming my age. Oh, well, I'm a free spirit, so maybe that's just what it is. You know, talking myself out of my dream. So I can't really see if there's any comments. Well, I, I definitely can't see if there are comments. So I will get back to the comments. I want to hear from you. I want to hear what's resonating with you. Hi, Courtney. Hi, Shannon. Hi, Jacqueline. Hi, Alex, Karina, Zuli. So great to have you here. And um, yeah, don't be putting me on a pedestal either. Like, oh, well, Lucy's just lucky, or you she's just this, me. she's you, just that. And I'm saying you can put You can put me on the pedestal. <laughs> oh, boy. But no, like, you have to know, like, I was a train wreck. I was drinking so much. I was numbing so deeply. I had no belief that I could attract in the love of my life, honestly. And I kept proving myself right. And this is, this is the pr product right here. Yeah, my little girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So if I can do it and all my clients can do it, I want you to really feel this. You've got it in you. We can, we can. You can do it. It's not too late. It's never too late. And you haven't done this work, right? I had a girl the other day, beautiful girl, and she was just like, oh, okay, I think I can do this on my own now. Thanks for the conversation. I'm like, oh, boy, you've been, you've been single for nearly 10 years and we have one conversation which – fuels you and you're like okay I'm good to, I'm good to go <laughs> I'm just like I, okay suddenly all your sabotage is coming up right now yeah, yeah Courtney because... said hello oh my god everything resonates so much and I always knew a therapist didn't work for me that I needed something deeper and here you are Courtney sister yeah yeah it's when you feel it in the ovaries that you know that you're onto something and I always say this whether it's me or someone else you're following right because there is no such thing as competition. I'm, I'm just stoked that whoever hears this message, you're meant to hear this message. And if I guide you to someone else, fucking high five. Because if you're meant to work with me and if you feel me so deeply, then there is no competition. And, and if you don't feel me, then I would much rather you go off and work with someone that you do feel because you have to have that connection. You have to be like, that's my person. All my clients are like, I just knew. I knew within like the first 10 minutes of the masterclass. I'm like, beautiful, because we do know. I know when I meet someone that's right for me, I'm like, that's my person. And so I want you to trust yourself more because we're so used to being up here. All my women come into soul to soul, cerebral, every one of them. I've got to beat it out of them. Let's start getting you into your heart. <laughs> and they leave so in their heart, so connected to the magic of who they are. And they're like, I feel like I've won the lottery. I'm not even thinking about the guy. I'm just in awe of who I am. I'm like, that is exactly how you have to feel about yourself if you want to attract in the creme de la creme relationship. Why would you want to be in a relationship that's anything but that? Life is a freaking journey. It's ups, it's downs, it's heartbreak, it's failures, it's all of it. It's not this perfect, like, let's just have roses on Valentine's Day, right? And Nam and I, we've gone through miscarriages together. We've gone through a lot together and he's my rock. And I'm there for him. We're there for each other like, like a force. And that's love, right? That is love. Yeah, you want to be in your heart and you want you back. Yes, Courtney, you're speaking on behalf of everyone in this community right now. It's so not about the guy. It's about you being head over heels in love with who you are, in awe of who you are, where you're so full of you that there is no lack you're lit up like a Christmas tree. Then you're empowering other people. Oh boy, getting so into it that my phone just falls off. Um, that you are inspiring other people without even trying, right? You're not even trying. You've, you're the person walking down the street and they're like, you're like turning heads, not just with men, but with women too, being like, who's that goddess in her power? Even if you're in a tracksuit, right? With no makeup, that you... People just turn heads because we're all energy and there's a presence. It's about you walking tall and proud and in your body, in your sensuality, in your heart. That's called thriving. That's called wealth. Wealth. 
where you are vibrating with the highest version of who you are. And there's nothing you can't attract from that. You're going to up-level your bank account. You're going to up-level your health. We have had some really chronic health issues in Soul to Soul with women that come through, right? Bulimia, colon issues, migraines, belly stuff. I mean, full-blown depression, anxiety, suicidal thoughts, you name it. We've seen it. And the chronic, chronic Illnesses get cleared up because it's all emotional. Random, you know, autoimmune diseases, fertility stuff, it all gets healed because this work is so much deeper than how you date someone and how you freaking update your profile. This is about changing your life and being the woman you were born to be, period. Yes, Danya, you need to connect with your heart. Again, that's your obligation to you so you can be the fullest version of yourself, darling. Glad that's speaking to you. Shannon, hello, Lucy. I love your book. I'm starting on chapter five. I'm having trouble dropping into my heart space. I'm not sure where to start. Well, thank you for sharing that. You're certainly not alone. And um, the book is going to trigger you and it is going to have you come up, you know, against yourself to see these things being highlighted. But I want to acknowledge you for the courage um, that you have to read the book and to stay with it. Just stay with it. Yeah. And don't rush it. Just be where you are and just keep putting one foot after the other and keep doing the extra work in the in, a, in the bonus book. What's it called? Book bonuses. Book bonuses. And um, and just be patient with yourself. And honestly, Shannon, when, you, when you're ready to really fucking soar, then get on a call with, with our team. But for right now, just, yeah, relish in the book. Read it a couple of times, you know, because it's such a great primer. Um, if, if you haven't got the book, girls, go grab the book. Get it on Kindle. You can read it straight away and then order the, the hard co copy if you like the hard copy. But that's the great thing is you can literally read it right now and download it. Um, but, you know, it, it's a thing as well when you know, you know what, I'm so done that there is no other option. Like it's a non-negotiable for me to change right now. That's when you want to book a call. Not when you're interested and just thinking about it and curious. Go get my book. Go be with the book, read it, read it, read it, read it, right? We're not here to close you and roll you. We're very, very, very selective. We want to have women that are truly ready, and that's why we get phenomenal results. Um, so, Dylan, you want to add something? <laughs> He's lost his train of thought. <laughs> um, We're done. I mean, we pretty yeah, much said yeah. it. No, I, 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 you know, when, Should when we you, pull a card? when you, when you come on a call, hold, hold the phone, I'm going to pull a card. When you come on a call with us, uh, if you choose to do that, um, you know, just, just understand that this is, you know, we're not here to have a cup of tea with you. We're actually helping you redirect uh, and realign 30 plus years of your life. And cheap. so that really, that, that just, I just want to set the stage for you as to, why you're coming in um some some people don't go through the process they don't look at lucy they don't they don't know what it's all about and they're throwing away opportunities to actually change today why would you want to change tomorrow oh, wow. or in another month or another two months or, or six months from now I'm gonna check on my what's, what's wrong with today exactly but you got to show up come ready who's that baby? faith Oh, yeah. I just pulled this card. Will you read to them what faith is in there? And then we'll wrap. <sighs> oh, it's... Worst. I'm the worst reader. Oh, darling, you're not. Let me get faith for you. Hold on. You're faith. not the worst. You're a great reader. What are you um, talking about? So, so, um, you, you know, so. Read to me in your sexy I don't voice. Want, I don't want to oh, read. darling, come on. Come on, baby. Just tell them to go get the book. Come on. Humanity and bene see, benevolence, benevolence, oh. benevolence. Stay calm. Trust the good in yourself and others. See the light in the world. So, um, you know, what What that really is, what that highlights for me is trust. I'm just going to read those two lines. There's a whole bunch of stuff. It's not important. Um, what's important is trust. 99.99% uh, .99 of the women who come to us have trust issues. For good reason. They've been proven uh, over and over again that they can't, they can't really open up their hearts and allow trust to come in. So trust is a big thing. But the thing is, it's not trust is never about the other person. It's really about you. Trust is about you not being able to trust other people and other processes. Because, you know, like I said, history has, has taught you that why trust? Because it always fails. Now, it's very important for you to actually sit with that. Be present with that. Why are you giving your your uh, power away to the to the pre from the present?
based on the past. The past is gone. Every moment you have a chance to choose powerfully what's next. What can I do now? Yes. How can I improve? What should I be looking at? You know, uh, powerful people, anyone who is anyone in the world, always make powerful decisions, always knows that this is the moment I get to choose and choose powerfully. And they don't just squander it, they don't just throw it away. So trust is a very important thing. I know that you don't have trust uh, practice in, in your trust right now. And that's that's the first up, that's the up level. That's a mastery. That's, that's the up level for you to actually go, you know what, I resonate with these people, I resonate with what we're talking about. You get on a call, I resonate with that and your heart's telling you something, and then suddenly your head kicks in, and your little girl kicks in, and all the... It won't work. All, it won't work. All the stuff kicks in. What happens is you have to come, you have to take a pause and go, I know that my head's going crazy, but my heart is saying yes. Mm. That's that's what you listen to. That's how you move forward. Instead because, of being a slave to your fear yes. and your reasons. Because your heart is the only part of your body that's actually vibrating. And we live in a vibra vibrating world. Your vibrational heart, universe. The vibrational universe. The heart is smarter than the head. You have to start learning to trust your heart. Big, big love, beautiful ones. You want to show our new friend? We made a new friend while we were Oh, here. no. Okay. Yeah, just okay, go. so we're in this place called... No, no, don't just... just okay, say. it's basically in Joshua Tree. Everything's yeah, kind of we're like... Gonna, we're going to play some cards now. It's kind of like <laughs> like aliens and it's, you know... Anyway, I'm going I'm to show you something. Oh, boy. It's a new friend. Can you just check that out? I was terrified when I arrived yesterday. Absolutely terrified. <laughs> and then we got here and it said... <laughs> Greetings, Earthlings. <laughs> anyway, definitely been a change of scenery. Sending you so much love. Come back and watch this live again if you need to. There was a lot in it. Um, calling out your little girl's bluff so that you can really see for yourself who you really are underneath all of the masks, underneath all of the disbelief is a fucking superhero version of you with her cape on, with her crown on, and she's ready to fucking soar. She's ready to believe in herself and the world around her. She's ready to believe in love. She's ready to let someone in. She's ready to do the work. That's who you really are. Start listening to her. The quickest, easiest way is to close your eyes, put your hand on your heart, and, and just wait until you feel that connection. Okay? Big, big love. Mwah. And just put hashtag replay when you're watching the replay.